So, you just got yourself a Line 6 Pod HD 500X. That's pretty sweet, but how do you use one of these things? Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, I want to give a real basic tutorial on how to get started with the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. I'm coming at you assuming that you're just starting out with this thing and you just want to know the basics to just uh, make some sounds. Now, there is a uh, table of contents in the description below, so please use that if you need to skip around as something that's more relevant um, to your situation, please do that. Otherwise, let's just get started. Okay, so when you first look at this thing, there's a lot to take in, isn't there? There's a lot of knobs and foot switches, and there's just a lot going on. So let's break this down into a few sections so we can kind of better wrap our heads around what's going on here. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, we have the command center, as I call it. Um, all these knobs and buttons are for scrolling through the various menus, um, you know, selecting presets, adjusting parameters on effects. Then, in this upper middle section, we have the tone controls for affecting the amp models. So it's really nice, because if you're using an amp model, you can just quick, just turn any of these knobs, and it's going to affect the amp model. You don't need to go in and like, you know, use any of these buttons like you would for the other effects. Really handy. Then to the right of the tone controls, we have the master volume knob. This is going to be a really important knob, so keep your eye on it um, whenever you're using this thing. Because if this thing gets bumped um, too low, you could lose your, your signal. Um, if it's higher, if it gets bumped higher than you're expecting and you like turn this thing on, it could like blow you away. So just keep your eye on the master volume so you know where you're at. Then tucked away here um, between the master volume and the expression pedal, you'll see three little toggle switches. You're just going to want to make sure that these are set right because uh, they do play an impact on your sound. So the bottom one here says quarter inch out. So if you're plugging your pod into a guitar amp, just make sure that you're set at amp. Now, if you're running a quarter inch cable into anything else, like a, a direct box, audio interface, um, whatever, then you're probably going to want to have it set for line. Now, the middle selector switch says XLR. So if you're not using a quarter inch cable, instead you're using an XLR cable, you know, you're plugging straight into like a, the mixer board or something like that and you notice that you're getting a lot of hiss and hum that you weren't really expecting, try flipping the switch either to ground or lift and see if that makes the hiss or hum go away. It may, it may not, but again, that only applies if you're running an XLR out. Then the top switch says guitar in, pad, or normal. Just keep it at normal. Um, if you do pad, it's going to make your guitar volume like quieter, and you probably aren't going to want that. So just leave it at normal. Then, on the far right, we have the expression pedal. This can work as a volume pedal, a wah pedal. I think it can control other parameters as well, but it's not going to be automatically configured for every preset, you know? So some presets use this in different ways. Um, so just be aware of that. Also, if you press really hard with your foot and, like, at the, at the toe here, you can actually make it click and you'll see this light will switch to either Expression 1 or Expression 2, and you can assign those to different effects. Then uh, here at the bottom, we have all of our foot switches. Now these eight foot switches in the center here, these are all assignable for turning on or off effects. We have a looper switch here for turning on or off the looper. We have this one here, which if you just tap it, you can tap in the tempo of a song so your delays and things will sync up to that um, pulse that you're tapping in. Also, if we hold it down for a couple seconds, it's going to turn on the tuner, and then you can click it again to get out of the tuner. Then over here on the far left, we have our up and down arrows for scrolling through the different presets. Now, before we fire this thing up, let's just make sure that everything is plugged in properly. Okay, so when you plug your guitar into the pod, you're probably going to be using a standard quarter-inch cable. Uh, just make sure that that gets plugged into the guitar in um, spot here. There's been a lot of times when I'm setting this thing up on stage that I just like, I just have a bad habit of plugging into pedal two, and this is like where an expression pedal would plug in. And then I try to play, and there's like no sound, and it's like really confusing. And then I realize, oh, it's not in guitar in. Um, if you're going to be plugging into your amp. Um, pl 
plug into one of these quarter inch outs. Um, I think that they'll both work as mono if you're just running one cable, but I guess better safe than sorry. Just plug into the left one if you're just using one output. Then in my case, because I'm plugging into my audio interface, I'm gonna be using the XLR out um, options here. Once everything is all set, then you can fire the thing up. Um, I just don't know like what preset yours is gonna turn on with, and if you don't have a cable plugged in, you could get just a lot of noise and hissing and humming. So just make sure you're all set because there's no on or off switch. All we do is plug this thing in and it fires up. Takes a second or two. Okay, it's probably a good idea to have your guitar volume or amp volume uh, either off or low because you don't, you may not know exactly what preset's gonna load up right away. Um, once it turns on, then you can kind of gradually turn on your guitar or amp volume. Now at this point, you should be getting sound. If not, just make sure that your cables are plugged in properly and that your master volume is up and that the volume on your guitar and amp or interface or whatever um, are all up. So if this is the first time that you've used a 500X, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to start scrolling through the different presets and hearing what this thing can do. Now the easiest way to do that is probably to use this knob here. If you just start scrolling with it, you can see it's going to start moving through presets. Now if you press the preset knob in, it's going to give you this menu where it's going to show you the eight set lists that you can choose from. Now on the pod, there's eight set lists, and within each set list are 16 banks, and each bank has four presets. So what we can do here is using these arrow keys, we can select which set list we want to use, and we can just hit the enter key to select it, and if we double click the enter key, it shows us all the effects that are in it, or it's going to show us all the presets that are in it. And if we want to pick one, we can just hit the enter key again, and now it's selected, hit view, and we can see what's going on with it. We can also use the two foot switches on the end here to scroll through um, the presets as well. This is how you're going to do it um, when you're playing live. So each time you click an arrow key, it's going to move to the next bank. And so, as you'll notice, each bank has four presets, A, B, C, and D. So each time you click, it's going to bring you to the next bank. As you can see, this is bank 9, A, B, C, D, bank 10, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Then what you do is, if you want to pick one of them, so if you want to play the Ball of Fire preset, you just use A, B, C, or D to select that one. So in this case, I would hit C and it pulls up the ball of fire. I can keep scrolling here. If I wanna pull up ambient crunch, um, hit C for that, and it pulls that one up. Once we're in a preset, we can use foot switches one through eight to then turn on or off various effects. You can see how when I press these foot switches, certain effects will darken or lighten as they're being turned on or turned off. Now, these are gonna be programmed differently from preset to preset. Um, so we're kinda gonna just have to try pressing buttons to see what happens. Now, here's where things get a little confusing. The 500X has two user modes in it, and I've made a video about this. Um, so if you need more detail, you can check that out. But it has preset mode and pedal board mode. Okay, and I'm not sure how your 500X is going to be configured. Um, so you're going to have to do some investigating, and I'll show you how you do that right now. So if you hold down the view button for a couple seconds, it's going to bring up this setup menu. And just make sure that out of the 12 um, menus here that you're at the very first one. So just scroll all the way to the left, it should be the utilities. Now the very first option says FS mode, and that's your foot switch mode. So if you toggle this first knob here to the left or the right, it gives you two options, either A, B, C, D, or foot switches five through eight. Now if this is set for A, B, C, D, 
that's going to put you in preset mode. Now preset mode is going to be really useful because it's going to turn foot switches 5 through 8. It's going to make them select presets A, B, C, and D in whatever bank you are in. So right now I am in preset mode. So if I hit this first foot switch, it's going to bring up preset A in the bank that I'm in. So B brings up preset B, C, and D. Now foot switches 1 through 4, however, are still going to manipulate different effects, right? They're going to turn different effects on or off. Preset mode is really nice because it gives us the ability to select um, different presets really quick, um, which is really awesome when we're playing live. Uh, we do, however, have a bit of a trade-off because we have to give up the ability to assign foot switches 5 through 8 to uh, various effects. So we lose that option. If we hold down the view button again and we toggle to foot switch 5 through 8, pressing view to get out of that menu, now what's going to happen is foot switches 5 through 8 are now going to be assigned to various effects. So now if I press these things, instead of switching presets, now they're going to turn effects on or off. Um, depending on how they're assigned with each preset. Now in pedal board mode, we're not going to be able to change presets quite as fast, but we do gain four foot switches to assign to various effects. So you have to decide which mode is going to be best for you. Be sure to check out the video I made on preset mode and pedal board mode for more information on that. Now let's talk a little bit about um, adding or changing effects. So you'll want to make sure that your screen looks something like this. If you press the view button, don't hold it, just press it, it's going to give us three different view modes that we have. Just press view until you get to uh, this um, like effect chain screen here. And if you use your arrow keys, you can scroll through all the effect slots. It's going to tell you what each effect is, um, or you'll just have these blank slots where nothing is. All you have to do to either add or change effects is just use this first knob here. This is going to scroll through all the different effect types, such as reverb, delay, um, different filters, modulation, distortion. Um, you select the type that you want, and then using the next knob, you can scroll through and select exactly which, which one you want. So I'm in the distortion effect and then I'm picking which distortion I want to use. Okay, and then it is in there. So I just put in this uh, fuzz effect here. Okay, if you want to change it, just select a something and you can make it something else. You can scroll all the way to the left to make it disappear. In the middle of the effect chain is your amp model. If you use this first knob here, you can scroll through the different types of amps um, you can pick one that you like. There's other options too for like um, what kind of speaker cabinet you want or microphone. You can really get pretty in depth here. If you hold the enter key for a moment, it's going to give you the foot switch assign option. So you can go through each one and you can just tell it what foot switch you want to control it. So if I want my fuzz pedal to turn on or off with foot switch 8. I just make sure that I'm got my arrow over that one and I either push the foot switch I want or I just toggle with this first one and I can tell it what it needs to be. Just like that. Then I just hit view to get back out of it. So once you get your preset all dialed in how you want it, just be sure to save it. So to do that, just hit the save button. And if you want to change the name, you can do that. Just use the arrow keys to select the different characters and then use this uh, for, use this very last knob here and you can go through and pick the letters or numbers that you want to use. And then just hit save and it overwrites um, your new preset. Hit view to get out of that. So there you go. That should be everything you need to know to just be able to start making some sounds with the 500X. If for some reason you're having some more significant issues um, where you're not getting any sound or the, the 500X is behaving in a really strange way, I like to take this part of the video to kind of troubleshoot through some things that could be going on. 
Now, assuming that everything is fine with your guitar, your amp, um, your cables are fine, everything's plugged in properly, all your volume knobs are set just right, assuming all that's good, which is a big assumption on my part, let's take a look at some things that could be a little bit, uh, could be wrong with your 500X. Let's take a look here. Let's hold down the view button, bring up our setup menu here, and let's just check out some of these things. So uh, if we just scroll through here, some things that could be wrong. Okay, so the third page in, so just scroll to the right three pages, you should get this input set up. Um, just make sure that the first option says something about guitar. There's a lot of different input options you can have on here. And if it's set for like aux or mic, um, you're gonna you're gonna lose your guitar in. So just make sure that this is set for something that at least says guitar. Then for input two, um, while not as vitally important, um, I would probably just recommend having it set for same. Now if we go to the right one more page, we get to our outputs. This could have something to do with your um, audio issue. I have mine set for Studio Direct because I'm going XLRs direct into my interface and that works out great for me. Um, if you're going into an amp, try something else. Try combo, front, um, power amp, stack. You know, they kind of tweak some of the EQ and, and things so it does affect the sound a little bit. So try one of those other options. If you're still having issues, post something in the comments uh, explaining what's up with your pod, and I'll see if I can uh, help you out with that. All right, guys, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Any questions, just uh, send them my way, and I'll see what I can do. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, have fun. See ya.